Hello, Mrs B here and in Science Today we are going to continue with looking at soil and we're going to look at different types of soil today and this is part one, so straight after part one go to part two. It is a video I'm showing you so it's going to take a little while to load up. is the loose material that covers the Earth's surface. In most parts of the world, land is covered by soil. You can think of soil as the living skin of the Earth. It gives plants the nutrients they need to grow. And plants give people and animals food to live. Soil also provides building materials, homes for animals, and things we use every day. Soil is not just dirt. It is an important natural resource that provides the foundation for life on Earth. Soil is made of rocks, decayed plants and animals, air, and water. Let's first look at rocks. Through a process called weathering, big rocks break down into smaller and smaller pieces, eventually becoming part of soil. Soil does not form in a day. It can take hundreds of years. Wind, water, and extreme hot and cold temperatures cause rocks to break down over time. The pieces of rock are transported from one place to another through erosion. But wait, soil is not just tiny rocks. It is also made up of decayed plants and animals called humus. Humus is made from things that were once alive like leaves that fall from a tree. The dead leaves decay or break down and become part of the soil, giving it nutrients. Humus is a dark color and is found on the ground's surface. There are three layers of soil. The top soil is the top layer where plants grow and it is only a few inches thick. Humus is part of the topsoil. The middle layer is the subsoil, and it is a combination of soil and rocks. Bedrock is the bottom layer that is made up of many layers of rock. Okay, so now I want you to go to part two. And have a look at the video from there. 